Welcome in to the Between the Whistles Detroit, your hometown team. This is a YouTube channel for Between the Whistles. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to gain subscribers and trying to become more of an influence in the Detroit media market. Obviously, we've done a pretty well job as we've put more of our product on YouTube more than ever. Um, we're on Facebook. All You can search up all the social media platforms. We're on there. I'm on Joseph P. Chap on Twitter. And... I, own the, I run the Detroit Lions news on Facebook. So I got to talk to an NFL executive. He gave some very pointed uh, conversations about the Lions, about Michigan, about Michigan State. And I thought it was interesting because he is a Ohio State grad. So it was interesting to get his perspective, especially about Michigan, Michigan State. In the terms of the Lions, I asked him a couple questions, and I'll read them for you now. I asked him a question about, I asked him a question, is what two players do you have your eye on? He says, Detroit has so many players that are going to excel in year two, but the two I could would put money on is Derek Barnes and Aleem McNeil. So I was like, okay. That makes sense. There's a lot of hype around Aline McNeil, around Derek Barnes, around Levi Anzarike. Obviously, you know, Amra St. Brown is going to become a, a very pointed player in this offense. It's interesting because I wouldn't have thought about Derek Barnes as the guy that he was mentioning. But um, he thinks that Detroit has... A good, a good young linebacker in Derek Barnes, and he says he might have a star at the defensive tackle in Aline McNeil. So the second question I I asked him was was point blank. I go, is is your mind in your mind is the hype warranted around the Lions? He said absolutely. Better team, easy schedule, and besides Green Bay, that div- that division is a total toss up. Detroit is healthier this go around, so I give them a huge chance to be in a surprise team. And the next question I asked him, the NFL executive asked, with the Lions, can they win with Jared Goff? And he answered, you're going to see. Short of a, car- car- a catastrophic injury, he has to perform or his replacement will come next year for his job. I think that's an interesting take because I think – He's giving this Jared Goff situation another chance. You know, it, it seemed to me when I was talking to him that he thought that Jared Goff can become a winner. He can lead a team to the Super Bowl. He already has led a team to the Super Bowl. It's just what does he do with this this current team in the Detroit Lions roster as they get younger and as they get more experienced and there is more talent on it, this team than there has ever been, in my opinion. He's also an NFL executive who is going to play Detroit. And I asked him, what worries you most when you play Detroit? And he said, their ability to compete. I think it's different for you to play a bad team, but not get the effort, than a team that has some talent and plays like rats. And it was pretty crazy because I thought, well, you know, that's that's an interesting comment. I looked at I looked at you know film of the Lions and I, I looked at how do they play. And the one thing I can gather from this this whole uh, talking with this NFL executive was he really thought the Detroit Lions were turning the corner. He really thought the Lions were making strides towards what they were trying to get to. He really thought that the that, that there's talent on the roster. He mentioned Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson as one of the guys who could be a perennial, uh, could be a franchise-type all-term player, not just because of his talent, but because of his leadership, his workmanship, and the way he presents himself as a, as a, as a leader in the community. And that's one of the things I was kind of like, okay, well, that, that makes sense. But I really thought this interview was, when I text, I got a couple of texts from him and, it was just interesting to hear his his perspective on on how the Lions are 
uh, especially since he's going to be a team that's going to be playing the Lions. So I thought, why not? Uh, I interviewed with him before, and he, he was a very, very nice man. He's a very, very experienced executive in the NFL circles. And I thought it was very, very telling. But this is, you know, this is some of the things that I'm trying to figure out for, the, you know, you, a lot of you guys is because I have some connections. So I'm trying to figure out what, what other people are thinking about the Lions. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of great guests. But, you know, one of the things I really take away from texting him and um, I thought it was interesting was he gave Detroit a chance for the NFC North. You know, obviously, Green Bay is a good team. They have a lot of talent. But if you look at the way this team is is uh, presented and the offensive um, firepower they have this year, it could be easy to see why you could say, okay, if things break this way, the Lions could put themselves in position. You know, if you look at the Lions, I think that one of the things that you have to say is they are better than the Bears. They're – on even terms of the Vikings, you know, the one thing about the Vikings is, is they have an older defense. They're kind of struggling. Kirk Cousins is, is on the last leg, kind of like Jared Goff is. So it's going to be interesting to see how the Detroit Lions get better through this, um, you know, this revamp period. I think Dan Campbell is really showing how good of a coach he is. I think people, players are responding to him. And then you talk to his NFL executive, he had all the respect in the world for Brad Holmes, all the respect in the world for John Dorsey, all the respect in the world for the coach staff. He thinks that this is probably the, he he told me off the record, if I could say it, that this Detroit team is probably the most smart they've ever been. And that's a very big compliment. We will see you in the next video as we talk Michigan State football. See you tomorrow.